today we're gonna see how much money i can make on a brand new series where i start with nothing and trade my way up my goal is to see if i can make a hundred million dollars before my server wipes and i've got to restart now since this is a fresh start the first thing i need to do is obviously claim my base that way no one can come and grief my land because there are hundreds of players that are competing against me so let's take this and this and this and this all right well that's all i can claim for now so at least this is my new home now that we've got that set up let's go get some basic items now that we've got a full set of stone tools, this is where the journey really begins. For example, if I wanted to build out of spruce wood, I would have to walk all the way over here, kill this tree and bring it back, and it's the only tree around. So what if I collected one of every sapling and saved myself a lot of money and started on the right foot? All right, well, that's one tree done, and we also already have birch wood and oak wood, so we now need to get the other words. Woods. The only problem with this goal is that I have no idea where any biomes are. Players are out here and could kill me at any second, and I have no food. You could say that this is somewhat of a risky mission early on. Oh, God, is that a full gold armor zombie? Yo, and it's turning to nighttime. Actually, I don't really like how this is vibing right now, so... Why is this thing so legit? God dang, what the crap? Yeah, so now it's getting dark. Maybe if I can find water, though, that's gonna help. We can get to a boat. I gotta make a torch. We can't see anything right now. I gotta go quick, too. That's it. We managed to get 15 torches. The good news is, though, we have one in our hand, so we can at least see a little bit in front of us. Guys, this is brutal. I used all my coal and wood to make torches, which means we've got to eat raw chicken to survive out here. Absolute insanity, man. Is there any other biomes out there? Any food, carrots, villages, anything that's gonna help me here? This is crazy. We gotta watch out for that. A torch over there means a player could be near, and if a player finds us and kills us, we're done. Which means I gotta be careful with my torch as well. Guys, we found a new biome finally, and it's surrounded by skeletons. Ooh, I hope you guys don't see me. I can't run, so I really hope you don't see me. Let's head down. Oh, guys, a cow, more food. I'm gonna save this one until we can get a furnace, because I can't eat raw meat anymore. So we found finally a river. I can build a boat now, get in the boat, save my food, what little of it's left so I don't take damage. And maybe we can actually get somewhere and find what we need because right now we have literally nothing. I've been searching forever. I can't even tell if the lake keeps going. Is it stop? Is it stopping? God, that's it? Bro, are you joking me? The world's tallest mountain is at the end of this. Like literally the tallest mountain I've ever seen in my life. Was it a bad idea to set off on this journey without even having food? I would look back at myself and say, yeah, like I think I made a massive mistake. We are on the verge of death right now. We have just two food bars left. One once I start taking food damage, I'm not even sure. It might even be capable of killing me if I starve enough. So, like, food is the utmost importance right now. I can't even think about getting the trees. We've got to eat. Freaking mountain sheep, bro. A mountain sheep and a mountain chicken and a mountain pig. Y'all are here for the sacrifice, huh? Thank you, sir. Oh, another mountain sheep, bro. Come to me. Oh, another mountain pig. Oh, my God. This is the last spot I would have expected to find a single animal, let alone five of them, after I literally just asked for it to come to me. My prayers are answered. Let's get this food cooking ASAP. I'm not going to die. Oh, oh, baby, let's go. We can run again. It's daytime. We can see. I think today we're going to set off. We're going to find exactly what we need. And we're going to have that beautiful setup back home. It's where it's safe. Back home where it's safe. That's all I want right now. Okay, is this spruce? If this is not spruce, this is, I think it's spruce. It's spruce. Better than nothing, right? Better than nothing. Finally, a fresh open sea. Hold on, let's go. First, let's take a look at what this is. This is like a giant flaming throne in the middle of the ocean. Someone's base. Someone just claimed this and built a throne. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. We have to change plans. I'm gonna go back to my server spawn right now and I'm gonna use this portal over here, which is called the RTP portal. This will randomly teleport us somewhere and we can literally just randomly teleport. If the location sucks, we can do it again. A side of a mountain? Let's do that one more time. Oh, uh, the middle of a desert. Wait a minute, this is actually a great location to be. Not only can we collect dead bushes and bring some of these back, but I actually can find cactuses, which could start us on the cactus farm. Why is there not a single cactus anywhere in the desert? Where's the cow? Oh, y'all can't tell me you took every single cactus in this desert. Oh, finally, two cactuses. It's like the literally last two in the entire desert. Oh my God, we can take this back and we can take some sand with us because I don't know if we have any sand and this will allow us to actually create a cactus farm. Finally, some progress and an acacia biome so we can get the acacia trees, which I feel like would be one of the hardest ones to find. This is looking good right now. This is looking really good. What makes us even luckier, guys, is that somebody didn't break the entire tree, which means I can break the last few blocks and get all the saplings. There it is, two saplings right there. We can check that one right off the list, which feels absolutely incredible. Now I need dark oak wood and jungle wood, and those are extremely difficult to find. I guess we'll try our spawn trick again. Oh my God, please. 
Oh, dude, what? It just randomly teleported us into someone's base, and the base is actually full of items. Like, I can literally take anything from this guy's chest because he hasn't claimed it. Yo. Dude, we have our first armor, and we just stole it from a guy. This is crazy. That'll give us our first shovel. I might as well use it because I'm, I don't have enough inventory space, so let's go ahead and get our first shovel. Blaze powder? Dude, this seems like a little bit of a good money maker to me. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? I wish I could have planned this. This is absolutely unbelievable. 50 more leather? Dude, this is wild. Well, it was a great pit stop. We definitely upgraded some tools here. I didn't get what I want, but I guess I got what I needed. And not only that, this guy happens to be next to another village, which has a bamboo that I can finally take. Oh, God. Chill, 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 chill. I think I got that armor. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. There's, like, multiple. Oh, God. And we're poisoned. How are we poisoned? What poisoned us? What are they, are they, are they shooting poison arrows now? Is that even possible? I gotta kill those things. My health is really low. <laughs> this is not the time to die, my guy. This is not the time to die. Dude, is this thing shooting poison arrows? I swear to God, this poisoned me. Like, is that even possible? Oh, God. Come on, come on, come on. One down. Where's the other? Where's the other? Where's the other? There it is. Come on, come on. Come on. Jeez. Another with an enchanted bow. Three hearts. This one poisons you. Oh my god. Oh my god. That sucks. Because I died, I literally went all the way back to spawn and don't know where that location was. So not only can I not take any more items, I also cannot see if that farm had all the items that I needed. Now that we're back at my base, I can place these items and give myself sort of something to come home to. But the journey's not done. I have to get these wood today or I will never make enough money before the server wipes. Now, as far as the base goes, I do need to get my bed and stuff placed, like all the stuff we found on that journey. This is gonna have to be our bed for now. I guess we could also make this look kind of nice, like a campfire down here. That's pretty good, huh? I mean, some would say this is a total waste of resources to do what I'm doing here, but I think this is a great use of them because it just looks good. This bamboo will be able to be sold for some money and it'll create a nice little privacy screen in this very comfortable area down here. Let's clear this area out. I'm not going to repeat the stakes of the last time I made this series. I will start with good looking builds. No ground torches for us. We're living that elevated torch life. You see one of these, you know they mean business. I mean, it's not much, but it's a home. Like, this is home. This feels like home to me already. It really does. This is a beautiful place to be. Goal two is to collect one of every single type of food in Minecraft. The first thing I want to try to do is I want to go to spawn and see how much the rest of the saplings will cost us. Oh, a sugar cane. I'm going to buy one of these for $125. I need all the seeds, too. I need melon seeds. I need one pumpkin seed. I need a cocoa bean. I need a beetroot. And I need a potato carrots. And that cost a thousand dollars to get, which is not too bad. The issue is this shop does not sell the saplings. So now we have to go to the auction house where players are listing items. And this is where we have to see if we can get lucky and find one of these items here. The problem is it might not happen. None. There's none for sale. There's literally no jungle saplings anywhere that I can find. Well, all right, let's get back to our starter base now. At least try to sell our blaze powder and make some of their money back. That should be worth something. All right, I'm just going to do a random place. I'll do 2,500 and hope that that sells. We're going to collect our daily reward now, which is $5,000 just for playing today. All right, every day we get it. So up to 6K. Now I'm going to do my daily key and we can also now go open a daily crate. And here we could get something amazing. Like we've got to do whatever we can. Maybe we'll be able to get our items here. So let's try it. See what we can get. Cow spawn egg. That's one of our goals, was to get all the animals. So we can go back to our home now with a teleport command. And here we can actually create one of our animal farms. This is amazing. Uh, maybe we'll do it inside this wall. I promise to treat him better in the future. But for now, this is his entire home. There we go. We got our very first cow. That's actually super lucky to get a find like that. And uh, I'm going to put a little roof on. And you're going to be our very favorite wall cow. And you're going to sit there and you're going to make us money. I'm going to milk you. I'll milk you every day and sell your milk to people. You're going to be famous one day. All right. All right. We do have access to water over here and we do have some wheat. Hmm. I guess we could do like this. This will be our wheat seeds. Okay, that's not bad. Then we can hoe this and we'll do a carrot. We'll do a melon. We'll do a pumpkin. And we'll do a beetroot seed and potato and a sugar cane. All right. It's, honestly, it looks terrible. Okay. It looks really bad. I understand that, but this is the beginning of something amazing. We have $6,000. Our goal is hundred million before the server wipes, which means we only need 99,993,000 more dollars, which is absolutely reasonable. If we get this every day, it'll only take us, uh, I don't know, 14 years to get that goal. So I think it's, I think it's reasonable. The one thing I still don't have that I think every base needs is a very effective mine. So I have a crazy idea. 54 ladders. I think you guys can guess what's about to happen. Goal three is to enter this mine and collect one of every single ore. Whoa, we found ourselves a cave, folks. I have no interest in this right now. We will explore that later. We're on a mission right now for ladder duty. 
Oh, God, another? Oh, no way, a mine shaft right below us. Oh, my God, we got some good exploring to do. This looks stunning. And nobody else has been here, I would assume. Even the rails, I'll take these. I don't care. Oh, baby. I'm going to wait to open that so we can build the suspense up. All right. Do you hear the music getting dramatic? And we found some ore. Bro, this is incredible. We may have started with nothing, but now please have something in you. Yes. This server has been out for months. The fact that nobody has located this blows my mind. And we got glow berries, which honestly is freaking sick. I'm taking the whole thing. I don't even care. I'm here literally trying to make money from everything that I see. And to me, that's free money. Yo, our first gold ore. This is crazy. Check this way. Emeralds, dude, no way. We spawn in a biome that has emeralds. I have never been lucky enough for that to happen. This is crazy, dude. What a start. And free rails. I can't get enough of these. I can't, I really can't. And armor. All right, we're completely out of torches right now. I have one left in my inventory and that's the one I'm holding. So, hey, more rails, dude. I love it. This is like a lot of iron. That's just completely free for me. And lapis to enchant things. <gasps> and more gold. Oh my. Oh my God, that's a big ore vein. Why is this so large? It's like 15 gold. It just keeps going. Dude, is this the biggest gold ore vein you've ever seen in your entire... Oh my God, how many was that? And we have 18 gold and we only found two veins. That might be the biggest ore vein of gold I've ever seen in my entire life. And that is like insane. Oh, here we go. Now this definitely looks to me like someone's already been here and cleared the spawner out, uh, which really sucks. Yeah, someone's definitely been here. What's going on over here? What is this? There's torches everywhere. There's like super bright light coming from something. Where's this light coming from? What is this? Oh, the someone else did a straight down hole. Well, someone did what I did. Oh, that's really interesting. And they left all the ore, which means we can just walk through someone else's mine and get free money as long as they don't come back and kill us, which would be absolutely disastrous. All this free coal? Dude, I don't know what this guy was doing to come down here and make a mine shaft like this and leave everything. But as a new player to the server, this is everything you could ever want. Obviously, he would have taken all the good stuff. And that's it. That's his entire shaft. All right, let's take this loot home and go see what we've actually come up with because we are loaded at this point. 31 iron are now being smelted. This is some massive progress. And we also have a bunch of gold gold to smelt. 28 gold to smelt. Are you kidding me? Now over here in our farm zone, I'm pretty sure we can actually even begin to grow some dingleberries here. You just can't. You just can't beat it. We have everything. We have everything. Get some tools. Don't need that anymore. Don't need that anymore. And we have officially upgraded our tools. I say right here next to our cattle, we have a giant hole where we sacrifice the items we no longer need. These items served us well, but we're going to bury them now. So we've got some wealth now. Wait a minute, ladies and gentlemen, hold up. Let's flaunt a little bit now. I mean, are you kidding me? In one day? Absolutely incredible. Looks bad, but incredible. A bucket. Now, I wouldn't say I need a cauldron. To be honest with you, it doesn't seem like a necessity, but I'm gonna do it anyway because it feels like a flex to be able to have a cauldron this early in. I'm gonna fill it up with water. Boom, got some water right up here. I think I should just transform this a little bit because I don't really have a lot of room to work on right now given the weird shape of this land. So I kind of want to flatten out just a little more up top. Dude, this literally actually looks like a better house than the one that I built upstairs. Like, I'm about to move my bed down here and start sleeping down. I am, I'm gonna move my bed down. It looks so good. I'm moving my bed now. This is so good. Is I can finally place doors right here. And because this cave is already, like, pretty sizable. Oh, God. This is not really, uh... <laughs> I was about to talk about how well, how well, well defended this place was. Seems like that is clearly not the case yet. This is great. Um, okay, so we definitely need a door up here, turns out, that will stop creepers from getting in. We really don't want to spend too many resources yet on this because I can't really afford it. So just a few here and there will be enough to block mobs from coming in. That should do it. Oh, and it's daytime. All right, now we can let the doors open, get some fresh air on the inside of the base, walk out to our balcony. We have cactuses we can start selling. Oh, a painting. Let's, I, I wasn't going to do a painting, but now I got to go decorate the base of the painting. It's got to look great. Stunning. Uh, I still need to get, though, the items that I need, and I don't know how to get those jungle things still. Wow, look at this cave. Oh, my God. Try right out the back door, huh? I'm hoping by lighting this cave up like this, uh, the mobs will not spawn and come into my base through the backside. But this is kind of sick. Oh, God. See, that's another issue right now. We're running out of food constantly, and I don't have a big enough farm to make it. I don't have unlimited food supplies. I got a single cow, and I cannot slaughter him yet because he's like our best friend right now. My gut tells me that what I should do is just plant a crap ton of wheat seeds and just get the wheat. Get a little stockpile of wheat coming up. So maybe we'll try it. Hmm, we haven't been back here yet. This is interesting. Where's that sheep at? 
Oh, it's up there. A cave sheep. Oh, I need to get that sheep. So with 12 ladders, I should be able to get up to the sheep, put them in a boat, and maybe bring them down here. We can use them. Two. Four. Get in the boat. Why can't I place the boat? There we go. Now we're talking, baby. We got a sheep in the boat. This? Would this work? Can you ride the water? Okay, okay. All right, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. We saved him and he's gone. By the way, guys, I'll be giving away a free ranks and free lover bucks and items every week I post. So make sure you come back every week to watch the video ASAP to see how you can win the prize.